Hi guys, we are back with another new chapter and uh, we will be talking about uh, STL, Standard Template Library. As you can see, okay, uh, we have a slide that you can actually uh, refer to, okay, and it's called Standard Template Library. It is uh, chapter 8, okay, in uh, previous slides, okay. And as you know, Standard Tab Template Library is basically just a common template that has been created uh, with complicated data structures, okay. And data structures is another subject that you will be uh, looking forward to in your uh, next subject after this uh, particular subject. Okay. And what does a standard template uh, has is basically um, reusable templates. Okay. That are created in C++, right? Where you can use them easily uh, in a form of an array of information um, Linked together, it's some form of linked list, okay. And uh, it is done by the good people, good programmers, okay, uh, in C to give you ease in uh, executing your data structures rather than having uh, multiple pointers previously to do linked list. So, as you know, in standard table library, okay, that uh, there are three important components and they are containers, iterators, and algorithms. Okay, and uh, what are the common templates? Okay, as you can see, it's vector, list, and dict queue. Okay, a double-ended queue. So vector is a dynamically resizable array. Okay, list is a link list. Okay, and a dict queue is a double-ended queue. Right, which will be a really complicated process if if you were to do this with pointers because it is basically pointer to pointers double pointers and with standard template library it is uh made to 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 give you a much easier life in constructing uh resizable arrays um uh, at least they are linked together uh, each other and uh cues that can be i mean arrays that can be manipulated from the front of the list and at the back of the list okay uh most importantly for this chapter okay i will discuss uh Primarily on uh, double ended queue, the queue, and this one. So, without further ado, let's go straight to our uh, compiler. All right, so uh, there are a few things that you need to know, okay? All right, okay, besides IO stream, okay, you will have uh, to include the queue. If you don't understand what these are, no problem, I'll explain along the way, okay. The next one is we might need algorithm and we also um, will be it will be useful for us to have iterator as well okay these are the few libraries that you can include right so in iostream dq for dq algorithm iterator okay and then in main i'm going to create a counter i call it i okay and i'm going to create a double ended queue how do i create a double ended queue Okay, simple by using the keyword DQ, right? And then the type, data type of that DQ uh, to be what? And I can name the DQ anything I want. So in this case, I'm just going to name it after myself. I'm going to call it lim, right? Uh, and that is what I'm going to do. <laughs> hey. All right, so now I'm going to create a for loop that will allow me to uh, show the list to you uh, one by one. So i equals to zero, right? Then I can have uh, i lesser than. Oops, sorry, there's some hang. Okay, sorry. I okay lesser than. This is something new that you will be seeing. Lim dot size. Okay, right and i plus plus, right. Lim.size. Size is basically a, a function that will return an integer value. Okay, that will return an integer value uh, that determine the number of values there are in the double ended queue. If it is five, then it will return five. It is there is only like three uh, integer values within the double ended queue, then it will return three and so on. And this is a loop I'm going to use to show you okay, uh, the, all the list that we have. So if I run this program now, okay. You will see that I will have nothing because my DQ has nothing. So I haven't displayed anything yet. So I'm going to use C out. Okay. And 
lib just just like an array you can use it just like an array i okay and then i'm going to like space it with a space uh, for every number okay and of course obviously now in my dq there's nothing or a garbage value i mean so if i run the program there will be no show of anything for you because there's nothing yet okay there are two new terms that i would like you to remember which is push front Okay, and we have another one called push back, right? And we have something called the pop front and pop back. These are some new uh, new terminology that you're going to use in here. So. Let me show you an example how we use this. So I'm going to use lim dot push run, okay, and let's say I push the value three, okay, and then I'm going to use lim again, and I'm going to push run again, and this time five, and I'm going to use lim again and to push run again, right and I'm going to put the uh, eight, okay? So what will happen here, okay? You will see, okay, in the output. I'm going to run this program. And can you see that it is eight, five, three? Okay, so what happens is, I'm going to do it step by step for you. So hope you can remember this here. So far, I'm going to delete this. Okay, so first, I'm just going to push front 3. Therefore, I'll have the output 3. Okay? And then, I'm going to put push front 5. What will happen is, I'm going to put the 5 in front of the 3. That is the reason why we call push front. Always remember, uh, when uh, we do DQ, okay, uh, the one in the left is front and the one uh, on the right is back. Okay? So I'm going to push run 5. The 5 will be pushed in front of the 3. Okay, can you see that? And if I put lim.push run 8, then the 8 will be at the front. So that is what it meant by push front. So if I use another list and I'm going to use the push back. Okay, and I'm going to put uh, 9, okay, and as you guess it, if I push back, then I'll be putting to the right. So, 9 will go uh, right next to 3 over here, okay. So, if I run the program, there we go, Eight five three nine. So, that is what it meant by push front and push back, okay. So, as you see, I can use a loop to basically um display all my items in my dq but there's another another way that i can use to display an easier way okay and it is from class iterator and it's called o stream output stream okay o stream okay iterator right and the type is integer i'm going to print integer value I can put any name here, okay? So here I'm gonna put like my last name, Chang, okay? And I'm gonna change it to, yeah, capital, it's all right. Chang, okay? And it's gonna do the Cout function, which is to display. And I would like to have a space in between every number and just like this. So by using OStream iterator, okay? Instead of having a three lines of for loop here, okay, I can use a copy function, okay, from class uh, from algorithm, okay, copy, okay. Um, then I have, uh, I think I have not enough time, okay. Let's meet at the next video.